Okay, so I have a very, I believe, relevant question that, um, uh, you know, these days uh, we come across different ideologies, different viewpoints, and one of the things that we come across, which is very common, is that people say that I believe in something called karma. Right? Most of the people believe that, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people believe that, you know, and what I believe, what I understand from karma is that, you know, what goes around comes around, right? Yeah. You just, you do something, it comes around. And there is, uh, I don't know, there is some concept like that. You can call it retribution or whatever in in Islam as well, right? But but the, these people don't say that I believe in this religion or this thought. They just say, I don't believe in anything else. I just believe in karma. Yeah, right? it is the, the, the so, biggest religion on the planet right and now. And so my question would that be that, you know, uh, on one hand, does karma? Islam believe in karma? And if it does, then okay, fine. But if it doesn't, then, you know, where where do... Because people do claim that I have felt that I did something and the next day something happened to me. Yeah. Right? And they're not Muslims. Or, or even Muslims say that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, how do you explain that? Well, first of all, uh, Islam in philosophy, in its very core, is anti-karma. And it gives millions of examples of how, how the prophets with the perfect lifestyle and everything right, went through so many problems. The son of Father Nuh, the wife of Father Lut, the father of Father Ibrahim, the wife of Nuh, do you think this is karma? Of course it's not karma. If anything, this is you know, <coughs> against the very laws of justice that karma actually requires. You know what I'm saying? Every and anything will be repaid, and there's a day for that, and that's why we're waiting for that day. Majority of the people who are oppressors oppress and live an amazing life and they die amazingly as well. There are millions of examples like this in our lifestyle time as well and throughout history. So where the hell is karma at that time? This is just a superstitious belief that you know what this is going to happen in this very world. We do believe in a karma in terms of you know it is going to be repaid. Every retribution will be dealt with on the day of judgment. Not in this planet. Because if it were in this planet then, oh my God, we have the lowest probability to pat ourselves on. Because uh, uh, you can get all of those people say, you know what, this did happen, karma. I can see karma on the planet. Yeah, you can see karma, but where is it when it really matters? Where is it on a community level? Where is it on a global level? Where is it on a, a political level? Every corrupt man has lived an amazing life. And you can see, you know, in our own country, everywhere. These people have longer lives than all of the people who they oppress and suppress. The better health, way more money, way more happiness, big, better looking wives, better cars, better houses, no disease, you know, longevity through their generations and generations of oppression. Where the hell is karma at that time? There will be karma paid in full, no interest but in full on the day of judgment. In this planet, we have a philosophical uh, disparity if we start believing in karma and Islam at the same time. Because Islam, Allah Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has never promised justice in this planet. So bad things are going to happen to good people. Great things are going to happen. Actually, greater things have happened and will continue to happen to bad people. In Surah Baqarah, Allah Ta'ala says, it is not in my uh, sunnah to grab the sinner by the throat right at the time when he sins. We let the string, loosen the string so that he can actually come in. Uh, uh, repent so that he does it on his own. This is in Surah Baqarah. This is the biggest anti karma philosophy right there. Otherwise, if it were karma, you know, every bad person would have, you know, been right in front of us uh, paying for uh, his dues for whatever he did. All right, uh, the question just popped up in my mind. Uh, you said that uh, the anti karma ayats are there in Quran. And you mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, saying to disbelievers that uh, I'm, we are delaying their time and they will be uh, paid their full uh, justice in, in the hereafter. But we find that there's also uh, ayah that uh, support uh, karma in Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, whatever calamity falls upon you, that's because of the sins or whatever you sent forth with your own hands. So how do you club that with what you have explained right now? Okay, two things. We should not confuse uh, repayment. Okay, uh, whenever if whenever you see karma, that's if you see karma. That's not karma. 
there is a gift from Allah. If any calamity befalls upon us, that is to cleanse us. That's the philosophy of Islam. To cleanse us that, you know what, the bigger punishment in the Day of Judgment is something which is not going to be managed by you. So I'm giving you here. If I give you here is the Quran's philosophy. If I give it to you here, that is to, to balance out the, the bad deeds. And that's happened many times in the Hadith and the Quran. So that a gift befalls upon me as a calamity of all of my wrongdoings or some of or one of my wrongdoings. That's not karma. And this is why we need to cl clarify our philosophy because if that was the test, then we see millions of examples, no calamity. You know what I'm saying? That is not a, 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 a benefit that, that was given to them. That you know what, he lived an amazing life. Pharaohs lived an amazing life till the day of death, his death, all of most of the pharaohs, and a lot of millions of the people in our own times. Why are they not getting all, all, all of that? Because this is not a, a payment method. This planet is not a, a plan of justice. Otherwise, let's just assume that there was karma, assuming. The biggest argument is then, if there was karma, then there is no point of the day of judgment. That day is redundant then, because everybody got whatever he got as a payment of his sins or, 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 or good deeds. Then what's the point of day of judgment then? You know what I'm saying? It's a redundant entity. Everyone's got the, 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 the payment in full. Now we're just going to go our ways. So Yomuddin is totally obliterated with this karma philosophy.